Hundreds of angry protesters rallied at O'Hare Airport after President Trump's immigration order suspended entries of refugees from certain countries for 120 days and barred Syrian refugees indefinitely. The news hit hard in Chicago, where Mayor Rahm Emanuel has declared his commitment to protecting immigrants in a sanctuary city. Emanuel and several aldermen joined protesters to show their support over the weekend. Carlos Ramirez Rosa is alderman of the 35th War. It doesn't matter if you call God Christ or you call God Buddha or you call God Allah. We are all one people. The ban blocks entry for citizens of seven predominantly Muslim countries. Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. Dozens of attorneys have been camped out at O'Hare offering free legal assistance to families waiting for relatives. Among them was Houston resident Wael Bugazia. He flew from Houston to meet his wife, who was returning from Libya and was connecting through Chicago. Despite having a green card, his wife was detained for further questioning. There's no reason for them to deport her back. She has everything legally. Bugazia, an American citizen, says the president's immigration order caught him by surprise. I was shocked. I've been here since, you know, 10 years old in America, so I'm 47 now, you know, and uh, it's shocking to me because uh, I never thought this, you know, we would have such ignorance, you know, and uh, uh, I'm still shocked, uh, you know, and uh, basically I'm American. I grew up here. Alicia Fitz and Farhana Afezi were part of the group of attorneys assisting dozens of immigrants who've been detained at the airport. As a Muslim American, I'm appalled by this. I'm here not only as an attorney, but as a Muslim American to help my fellow Americans. Basically, we felt that we had to do something, and this is something that we're, uh, we're all passionate about, making sure the Constitution is upheld and angry at what we're seeing our president do. Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan has entered the fight. She joined 15 other attorneys general who call the ban unconstitutional, un-American, and unlawful. Chicago's Cardinal Blaise Supich also condemned the president's order. In a statement, he said, this weekend proved to be a dark moment in U.S. history. Meanwhile, after being detained for more than seven hours, Bugazia's wife was finally released and allowed to go home. You can't ban people who have green cards. I mean, those people who come here legally, done things right, have families, have, you know, their life is here in America. So if you're going to do it, do it right. Don't, don't punish those who, who have done things right.